Well, so I can destroy my own saw blades. That much is obvious. Okay. So let's get rid of this for a second. So, very obviously, I think it's about time we enclose this beast. I'm never leaving it. I don't need to. All right, let's make a bunch of railguns. I mean, clearly they're always armed for some reason. I don't know if they need more than this. Nope. Oh, they need they need pipes. They need pipes. They might need more than pipes. What does a railgun need? Stone pellets using the funnel. Ah. Okay, well, I do have two. Okay, so I'm just going to put tube there. Do I want to have machinery? No. Boilers? Uh, actually, it'd be under accessories. Can I put a storage chest up there? Still doesn't like what I'm doing here for some reason. Does it? I have no idea what's even connected here. I don't know what's going on. Okay, so one of these... One of these is connected. One of these has Eldritch piping. So we don't need the funnel. Yeah, so it looks like my pipe network decided to overlay on top of itself and then deny everything, which is just confusing. I I'm not honestly sure why it would do that, apart from the fact that it could. Which is odd. I... I don't know. Okay, well, let's make, a uh, Couple more pipes. Okay, that's connected. That's connected. That's connected. I hope. It better be. Well, I'm just going to delete them. Get rid of the funnel system, maybe? What's going on? Why is it this hard to make a railgun machine? I guess let's start with one and get it working. We had one working. Let's start with the top one. Nope, it ain't connected. Why? Shit if I know. 
I'm betting the pipe system's disconnected again somewhere, somehow. Oh. I know why. I disconnected that. Okay, there we go. So I can shoot. Okay, railguns are particularly good. Yeah, I must have deleted the, uh, the cable. When I was tearing everything up. I have to build limited amounts of anything. Why is this going straight to my inventory? I'm confused. Okay, now that we've done that... There. Okay. Yep, very much airships conquer the sky. But with... With these Salmobili... Salmobili. Oh, that's fine. Uh, let's see. Let's see if we can go find one of those super caves. Hmm. Okay, so, bit of an oversight. Easily rectified. We just need more... more saw blades. There's also bombs? I don't really know if that's a sane idea. We could do it. But I don't know if it's a... I, I really wish these uh, saw blades would actually do damage. Nope, that's not the one I want to enter. Okay, so they do damage to everything other than fish. And maybe the slime things. Oh. Well, this feels kind of boss fighty. Begs the question, where was this earlier? I don't know. Anyway, boss fight. Oh. Okay, so we found the tunnel dweller. Oh my god, my... My spikes do way more damage to this sucker than... than I do. Like, these saw blades? Very effective at combat. Main issue is just... I am now stuck here. I now live with the... Like, I almost have enough oomph. Apparently flying more or less gives me super te telekinesis. It's kind of nice, actually. There we go. Onwards! Let's go find another boss to fight. Oh shoot, it's covering the exit. Anyway, let's let's go find let's go find more more horrible beasties to uh beat down on. Now that's that's the super cave of Death and destruction. Holy crap, these saw blades are amazing. Oh, pyramid. What is in the pyramid? Is it a boss fight? No. I don't know how to get through that. I'm sure if I did the, the story, I'd, I'd be able to do it, but... Well... This thing does not sink fast. That's probably for the best. I guess we should probably just do a balloon. 
maybe transport balloon. I mean, alternatively. I think we know what's on the other side of the ocean. There's not really a... Oh, God damn it, don't, don't fall back immediately in there. Okay, there we go. Well, let's go back in Super Cave and just roll through Super Cave real fast. Yeah, so this is one of those games that I'm going to want to play possibly with you guys. Like, we all just, like, make our own vehicles or we make one big super vehicle. Oh, that'd be beautiful. Playing this in multiplayer would be a lot of fun. Um, Like, we all just make... Uh... Oh. Dude, where's my car? Well, it... It killed my car. Okay, there we go. How much does this cost? I think it's like 20 bucks. I'd, I'd wait on this. Like, wait until I say it's safe to, uh... Wait until I say it's safe to actually pick this game up. Because honestly, from my experience, uh, it's a bit jank. And I'm having fun. But... What? What is going on with some of this? going on here? Why is this so green? Why am I taking so much damage? I- I don't- I don't know. But yeah, wait until it's like closer to done. And has had like some more time in the oven, bug fixes, so on and so forth. Because I think otherwise this is going to be... I'm not going to say bad. Hmm. Okay, how do I blueprint? Perfect. Okay, so I'm, I'm in abject darkness. Now I'm not. Looks a lot better without. Okay, so we're going to make... Something real basic here. Okay, can't destroy any of those, so I'm just gonna pile a couple of these things over here. Oh, that's, that's how I can get rid of stuff in my inventory. This is a vehicle near and dear to my heart, everybody's heart, probably. Maybe? I don't know. rid of those. Get rid of the flux antennas. I'm not even sure what those are use useful for. Okay. So we need probably two of these. And two super boilers. Okay. We want to control with an advanced lever. I don't know why it didn't like that. Sometimes it just doesn't. And I don't know why. Probably because I was in the way, maybe? That's usually how it is. Pull it up. Okay, we should probably have cable belts and pipes in mass. Just in here. Perfect. Okay, so we want to have... We want to have a 
little bit. Oh, that's perfect. Every other thing here. Okay, so far so good. We might have to increase the torque. Uh, screwed up. I have to be very careful when laying this stuff out. Otherwise, it just does that. It really does not believe in straight lines. It believes in wherever your mouse cursor is. And I'm not sure if I like that. Let's see. Let's plonk the rest of these down. Wow. I actually ran out of... Actually ran out of belts. Who'd have thought? Okay, there's the belts. We have enough pipes. We have, we do not have enough cable. Okay, they're good. Now, how many saw blades can I have? Inventory is full. That is fair. Now, here's the thing. Wheels have some trouble with this. Oh, interesting. Hmm. So you know all those belts that I painstakingly put down? They apparently don't take. You have to put the belts on after the saw blades, or it doesn't. It doesn't count. That's that's just obnoxious. Yep. Okay. There's our answer. Oh. Well, I'll put a couple of these on first. We don't have to have complete coverage yet. Though it'll obviously be nice. Okay. This is silly. Oh my god. Okay, so I I can I I'm not going to have complete coverage. It's not going to be an option. I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to move in the saw cube of death and destruction. Oh. You know, other other thing I totally forgot about? We need a light source. Damn it. Uh Yep. No collisions. Okay, there we go. So it doesn't matter which way the wheels are spinning. They always spin in the direction of... Wait, seriously? Is this a dead end? They always spin in the direction that you're you're trying to go. Nothing more. Okay, I guess we're going up then. Huh. Well, onwards. Whoops. Shoot. I forgot. If you try and drive through the world that hasn't loaded yet, it, uh doesn't like that. Let's wait for it a... Let's wait for just a bit. Oh, look. 
A family of bats. No more. Is this cave just like empty? There's gotta be more to this. Can I go down? Oh, that frog didn't last. Yeah, so fish fish seem to be the only thing that are untouched. There's nothing in this cave. I was really hoping it would keep allowing it would keep allowing me to go like further down or something like that. Well uh, I guess I'm gonna make a blueprint of this one too. And then we'll just destroy it. And then go up, because I don't actually think there's anything else in here. So let's see what other blueprints that they have in-game, and then I think I'm probably going to stop. This game is fun. Oh. Well, that's clever. Yeah, it's definitely a two-man two -man thing. Creepy and, oh god, trying to make this move is cool. This game is not polished. I mean, it is early access. We've only had one crash so far, so, like, I actually would consider this a fairly successful thing. I just... There's not much for me to immediately do in it right now. What are you? I don't even control this. <laughs> All right. I call this the screw you movie <laughs> that already broke itself. Oh boy, this this little thing is lovely. What is this? Now, this game really is just airships conquer the skies to some degree. Oh boy. What else do we have? Hank. Well. Oh well. <laughs> Cruel world. I'm not entirely convinced a lot of these are terribly feasible. But they do have a lot of charm to them. And that one's got a toilet on the back. And no gun! Why is there a ricochet mod behind the toilet? I don't... Uh, what else we got? Oh... Boy, what the hell are you? Uh... <laughs> Well, that's not something I'm going to be using, for obvious reasons. Anything else? I mean, it looks pretty rad. It's a little messy, but like, yeah. Give this game, like, two or three years of development, and I think it'll be amazing. Can you imagine all this stuff? Like, okay, I don't know how many of you guys saw my Airships Conquer the Skies series, but, like, that game had a lot of potential for just, like, goofy shit. And I really enjoyed it. And, like, I can't... I I really want to do PvP, pat, PvP battles. You know, you effectively just slam up a bunch of walls, uh, you know, a screen or two away from each other, and just be like, okay, now... Now, don't peek, obviously. Make something. You've got 30 minutes. And then we're going to duke it out. 
Oh yeah, of course, save a blueprint of your, your unbusted vehicle first. Uh, before we duke it out. And then, yeah, just, oh, this this would actually be better than airships uh, with that level of development. I kind of hope it gets it. Because, yeah, as it stands, this game is very much a 6 out of 10, but with the caveat of it's freaking early access. So, potentially, once it reaches the end of early access, it could be a really fun co-op game. You know, you have some people on gunners, some, some people, you know... One person driving, maybe one person handling, like, a saw blade thing. Uh, and then, yeah. Terrain deformation would definitely help. And I think just in general, uh, more content. Well, I found the infinite ocean. I'm pretty sure there's nothing else over here. Oh no, there is. Infinite desert. What's at the bottom of Infinite Ocean? Can I get oxygen back if I go inside the world? It looks like it. Oh, interesting. It won't let me put lights down in here. It's going to take a bit for them to get, get here. I am breathing sand because water is not great. Yeah, get rid of the inventory limits for sure. Uh, fix some of the crashing issues? Obviously. More options. More guns. More more weapons. More, more enemies. More bosses. Make the level design in the caves better. Just because currently they're awkward. On one hand, this game... Is... Is definitely like should have a lot more like gravity and falling and stuff like that on the other hand it's not very satisfying uh early on when you can only tackle it barely with a with a grappling hook and i feel like there there should be more interesting things as part of it more reason maybe to actually like explore apart from just resource well no 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 maybe a reason to actually like build a Base. I guess the nightly waves are fine, but like, maybe some easy way to get to and from places so you can actually put down like a warp crystal. And so every time the nightly wave comes, you actually warp back to a, a giant steampunk horror base that you've made. Or you just keep rolling around in whatever you got. I don't really know. But yeah, definitely no inventory limits. They they suck. And like, this game does not, is not benefited by... By, like, trying to sort things into the boxes. Especially because, like, I don't know, the quick bar system just isn't very... I, I feel like the quick bar should be for the stuff that you've built, not for the stuff you're carrying around. Or at least maybe, like, the... There's nothing out here. Um, Maybe at least have, have like, only inventory space for things you've built. Or, like, the, the inventory cap to be, like, 9,999. Make it ridiculous. I don't know, Factorio handled it well, right? Yeah, it would fill up, but it wouldn't fill up that fast. Nor was it particularly frustrating. Anyway, this is a neat game, though. Like, it's got it's got some real potential. It just needs time. A lot of time, and a lot of development, and a lot more stuff. To this, to space.